Okay, Akomalo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. Hi right, guys, morning. Um, yes, we had a really nice movement yesterday. Yes, today, right? And it started happening, um, yes, more or less yesterday. Uh, so, as I have been saying, you guys, this was a corrective movement and this red candle here on the daily is showing us that indeed what we have is a is a b wave okay we pierced through the the 50 percent retracement here for our wave b and we are now going down okay the, the, the only way i can see it is if we are going down now for good okay uh, to perhaps touch this blue line here, perhaps remember I, we, we can have an A, B, we can have an A, B, C, D, E, and then we go up s without establishing a new low here. So here we have this box, this red box here. Okay, so uh, let me zoom this thing here. This is what we have. Okay, this whole correct this whole uh, trend move motive impulse wave this correction here for our b okay and then would have our c that would start now <clears throat> interestingly enough we stopped at the 30 80 20 percent this whole dump here this whole movement which is by the way the 618 the 65 sorry of the whole bitcoin movement guide remember these levels here these levels here are the uh, the whole swing low to high, okay? From the lowest point of Bitcoin to the highest, oh my goodness, I, uh, from the lowest to the highest here, this is the 61865, so pretty much most of the action has happened around this region, which is the golden pocket, okay, the golden zone. <clears throat> So I, so I think that wave B is in. Yeah, I, I have been saying that 50% was enough. I was expecting it to go like here, to touch this yellow line. Why? Because we had a nice confluence here. But I think that it, that's pretty much now out of the table. <clears throat> okay. Let's take a look at the EMAs. So we have this cross here. We have this cross. What do we do with this cross here, guys? Okay, we have this cross. The 55 EMA is crossing. Yeah, it's, it, it, this is a bullish cross, okay? This is uh, the 55 EMA. The, the, the 21 EMA is crossing the, the, the 55 EMA. But this might be just a cross that... Um, let me see one example. But it, it's, it does like this. You see here? Guys, <clears throat> a perfect example. I, I have said so uh, last video yesterday. Those crosses here, we, we shouldn't really care that much about them. The 21 and the 55. Because see here what happened? And then you cross back. It's I, I think the same thing is going to happen here. You're going to have this cross here. And then we're going to cross back and go down. Okay. Uh, we have... We haven't touched the 200 EMA. This is the white line, and we have we have uh, crossed the 100 EMA with ease. Okay, we broke in this resistance here. The, the 100 EMA was offering resistance, and we broke. <clears throat> uh, and, and of course, we have a week here that tried to break the 21 EMA and the 55 EMA. It's it's not formed yet, but we are pretty much sitting on the region of it. Uh, not sitting, but we had a week that tried to break it. Okay, everything is pointing down, guys. Everything is pointing down. <clears throat> it's gonna be really difficult to make a case that this is some kind of what wave four. Sorry, if you are one, two, three, this is a four. This kind of price action here is difficult, D really difficult. Okay. Um, let's see the weekly chart. Remember yesterday when I said, oh, we have a cross on the MACD. Look at this. It's a cross. Okay. 
It has never happened before. Unless here, right? But it happened when we had a, a dump here, yes? When this, when this, this was uh, December, when we had that huge dump from the 20k. And uh, and now it ha it's crossing again. Okay, this, this is significant. Okay, this is significant that we have this cross, but then we have it might cross back and like uh, it might not be the that it might not be significant because we have other pieces of information. Okay, <clears throat> the the weekly chart uh, EMA. Uh, oh Jesus! Uh, as I said, oh come on! Trading view is so weird sometimes. So twenty one, we touch the twenty one. See here is the twenty one level. Okay, we touch it and react. Okay, we touch it and we dropped, cross the twenty the fifty five EMA and uh, and then we are going down. Okay. Here is the one hundred. Okay. The 200 is. We don't have a lot of candles, and we don't have enough candles to form a significant 200 EMA. Okay, I would stick with the 55 and the 21 EMA, perhaps the 8 and the 13. Okay, this is the weekly chart. So we are crossing back. Okay, all the way that we touched the 21 EMA, and now we are going back. Okay, down. Okay, this is my my one hour chart okay as I've, I've as i've said as i have been saying you guys this might be over right because we had pretty much hit the the 50 percent here okay and we were trying to to hit the 618 here of the trying to break the 618 of this fib channel see one two three four attempts and then we couldn't no actually fifth five attempts and then we couldn't try anymore and then we dropped nevertheless we haven't break the channel yet okay we haven't because we try to break it you see we try to break it but uh we have we had a pullback oh jesus um, we had a pullback we tried to break it we, we find we found this support here okay this green support here <clears throat> and we are pulling back okay so it's a of course when you have a such a dump you're always gonna have a some kind of a, a, a pullback people is taking profit it's normal but this I consider this channel as not content as it's gonna be difficult to <clears throat> to imagine Bitcoin going back to these regions okay to 7300 or something we are now at the 7k of course we're gonna have some pullbacks but I, I would consider this as a wave one okay this is wave one and then two three we are here we have some targets okay though those targets are not arbitrary okay I have shown in other videos uh, how I I derived those targets it's from fib pool okay when you use your fib retracement Okay, and then you have the negative is the algo targets minus thirty three percent, and then you have uh, I won't show you guys again because it's a lot of uh, lines and it's it, it really clutters. But just to show you one example of a fib, uh, one of the how to this is the top of the of the of this one here. Let me show you guys one fib retracement here that is significant from the top of this one to the bottom okay then i need to of course turn on all the fib retracements uh, there we have it uh, what is it no oh my goodness oh yes <clears throat> From the top of this one to the to the bottom of this, we have some pretty nasty targets actually. Yeah? We have the minus 33, 20 percent here. Okay, by the way, it's a nice confluence. This one is from the, the from the whole movement. Okay, 
this one here minus 33 60 percent from the whole movement which what which whole movement I, i'm not following from this top here to this bottom here okay from this top here to this bottom here we formed this uh minus 23 60 percent here okay that is the fib retracement that formed this algo target here that is 5200 i would say that this is uh i am uh i have those targets here as primary targets okay but as uh as we go down we would have those algo targets here so people that sold here okay would be looking to buy here that's simple minus 32 60 percent and we have this minus 33 20 percent as a second target of this swing high here from this point here to this low here okay when we when you do this you have those targets we have these targets as well i'm not gonna i'm showing you guys how i i find those targets okay uh, this is another one oh, i'm sorry here minus 33 here okay here we have a nice confluence okay here we have a nice confluence so the 53,000 okay then we have another confluence here guys minus six six to one eight is it, it would be at the, the third target the third algo target this would be 4k and here would be the final not the final but come on uh this is the minus 33 60 percent of the whole movement okay this is the negative minus 36 percent of the higher movement as i said here this would be another target here okay so we have a confluence here I'm gonna mark it as well. Uh, this would be one, okay. This would be one target, okay. And uh, um, I'm sure this one as well, right? And this minus three, three sixty percent. So we have a lot of targets here, guys. Okay uh a lot of targets down here so it's difficult to ignore those algo targets down here and we have the wave c here i, I just drop it there okay just to show you guys uh that we have the wave c this wave c is this wave c here okay this wave c here here to finish the z okay um if you are confused uh about all those those algo targets um and if you want me to to uh show you guys how i do it how i how i i oh my goodness how i i find those targets i can i can record a video just about all the targets how to pull fibs and do but this is pretty easy if you pull from the top of your of the movement of the top this this pivot high here to this low this is what i did okay okay this is the top i pull it and then i f when i do it you see this is the fib retracement when i pull it from the top to the bottom of the movement i find some targets i find that the 50 percent is a really important region yes why you just look at it okay you look that it divides the movement between okay it divides the movement between uh, we, we try to break above the 50 percent reach the, the 618 65 percent here and we are going down okay all the movement is around this 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 fibonacci here and then when we do that from the top to the blue bottom here we have the 50 percent people would sell here okay this is this movement here selling okay and here would have our algo target okay algo machines would be looking to buy here again based on this swing high to this low here we would have this target here and of course this target here and a lot other one down here three thousand okay three algo targets here negative minus 33 60 percent 
minus 38 20 percent and minus 618 percent okay you can do that as well <clears throat> from this high highest point here to this lowest point which i did okay uh, let me remove it okay when you do that from this highest point here another pivot high and this is the lowest and then you have those points you have this confluence here okay you have this confluence here so then you you start finding um confluence uh, places that that uh places of data that we can say we, we we can't just ignore as coincidence okay you have for instance here oh i'm sorry let me move this thing here for for instance minus 33 20 percent from one swing high to swing low and another minus 33 60 percent so this is a strong target okay this is a strong target because we have more than one piece of information telling us that this is a place that Bitcoin might go okay from this highest point to this lowest point okay this one here you see I'm taking this out now. okay I'm not leaving out those algo targets because of course it's it's a lot of information and we we just can't do that it, uh, the the people complain about my charts that it's so cluttered and it's because I need a lot of information when I'm doing it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, but let me let me do this again. This is an important pivot. The, from the top, okay, oh, see? From the top here to the bottom. You have this amazing target here. This is, this is one target is important as well. 5200, okay? 5200. Remember, <clears throat> remember when we... In the future, when we get to those targets here, if we get to those targets, remember that I said so. <laughs> remember, Akumado said so. Yes, that's true. Those Fibonacci targets, it's not really arbitrary. There is some kind of uh, theory behind it. Yes, there is some kind of theory behind it. Yeah, if you, go, if you want, you can read about it. <laughs> I'm not creating it. <laughs> um that's nice isn't it i i like it. i love it by the way i love fibonacci and i'm not alone a lot of analysts use it quite often and it's a piece of uh, it's one of the tools that gives us confidence okay that helps us understand this mess because markets are crazy to say at least right uh, chaotic erratic dynamic whatever you want to say and uh fibonacci is here to help us okay and i hate when i when i change my when i change my 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 tv i my trading view and then it it messes up with all my with all my notes so okay sorry guys for this uh rather long video i don't think it's long at all what i did come on oh see so um what i expect now and this this is would be we would need to form some kind of one pull back a little bit perhaps test this 23 60 percent okay let this one here oh jesus why is come on it's so annoying this is 23, 60%. So I expect, okay, I expect that this is what's going to happen. Touch the 50%. You see 50% here? 23, 60%. Touch this line here, this confluence here, and go down. Okay? Go down for our wave three. Okay, first target here, then this. Okay, perhaps get to the minus 32 60 percent here okay this whole thing might be one wave first wave of the wave c so it is indeed a pretty nasty <laughs> bearish scenario okay if we are talking about going to 3k if we are talking about getting to such a low level to 
finishing this correction only by the beginning of next year yes this is what's gonna happen okay we're gonna get first to this target here 5500 we would establish a new low a new a new uh, a new lowest point a, a new lowest uh, price of the year okay this is what I'm expecting okay I might be wrong though I, I disregard a little bit because this is a, a, this is a hypothesis. Uh, I'm not exactly showing you guys what's gonna happen. Okay, this is one, this is one uh, uh, hypothesis, and this might not be true. This is might be wrong. Okay, I am showing you guys that this is this is a support. So wave three is likely to get this first target and this support and bounce, and then it would break out those targets here and get to this one so that's it okay i'm really happy that bitcoin is going down by the way perhaps i'm crazy yeah i don't know <laughs> uh guys thank you very much for watching me i i really enjoy doing those videos if you like my content if you enjoy watching what i have to say please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and if you haven't joined if you haven't joined our discord group please consider doing so the link is in the description and follow me on twitter because there i can i can tweet a lot of different scenarios it's faster than recording so uh you can keep you can keep yourselves updated okay thank you very much and we see each other next one bye bye cheers